Hey there, YouTube. I uh, just wanted to uh, give you guys a brief look at my build. Um, this is a Corsair K760. Uh, this is pretty much it. It's a water cooling build. Um, I just put in a new reservoir uh, right here. This is kind of hard to record. Um, I'm actually cleaning it, so I just wanted to show you outside of being on. Uh, I just rewired, put new clips, raised the reservoir right here. Um, I just wanted to show too because a lot of people didn't really go in depth when it came to the rads that can go in this case. It's a popular case but I struggled uh, at the first of the year to find any real specs besides the specs that came with it, they didn't really state um, what size rads in thickness you could have. So in the front and back, they did state the lengths in the front and the top to a certain degree, but yeah. So I actually risked it. I went with a 60 mil in the front and a 60 mil in the top plus the 24 mils, I think, when it comes to the fans, which are Aerotex, um, D-Cools. Um, the graphics card itself is a Hoff 980. It's not a TI. Um, this cooler was specifically designed for this through a company called Diamond Cooling. Um, they... They did send me this block. It wasn't the greatest water block in out of any blocks that I've seen before. The reason I say this is it didn't come with the directions. Uh, they were pretty helpful at the company itself, but they actually sent me the wrong directions when it came to the 970. But I pretty much figured it out for myself. Um, it does have heavy sag. Uh, the GPU sags pretty terrible, but I am fixing that. I'm actually getting GPU uh, SAG supports. You can order now. Um, it is pretty badass. You did do uh, custom when it comes to the actual block itself. Like they put the Hoff, I selected that on the top. Um, and I also have a Halley Elite, which is kind of hard underneath little inscriptions in the corner can't really see kinda hard anyways um, it's a white and black theme obviously as you can see uh, it's a good build it was my first water cooling build um, yeah it's it was kinda tough but uh, I wouldn't worry about it if you're actually into water cooling. Um, this literally took me about two hours, and the hardest time I had was with these fittings and the tubing itself, which the tubing I think is 5 8 um, I actually built this about six months ago, but I'm now just kind of doing a quick overview just because I rewired it, and I'm just in the process of cleaning and taking the filters off. I must admit, this was a wicked case. Uh, you couldn't do any better with this case. I built plenty of computers, not water-cooled, but the computers themselves, just the mounting brackets, the back, the back for wiring, etc. I just put this hard drive in the back because I actually didn't want the hard drive in the front. I only want SSDs, so I actually want it hidden. I don't know what you guys think of it. It's kind of hard to see in this. Um, I just put this drain plug on. This is a drain plug. You just open it up because I kind of had a nightmare changing the coolant last night. So, yeah, it was kind of a struggle. It leaked a little bit in the bottom. Uh, not too, too bad. I had, I cut one of the, the cables in the back there, one of the tubings and, just try to drain as best as I could. Um, when it comes to like this wiring staples, like the amount, it's kind of hard to see, 
of these for wiring, stapling back, be able to fit the hard drive back here was kind of a shocker to me. Um, the cable management is a breeze in this case. I don't know if anybody's went in depth with the back of it. Just the amount of uh, selections where you can tie off, where you can run the cables up top and bottom. Um, like I said though, in the first was these rads, which are 60 mils in depth. That's a 240, this is a 360, and actually it does go in side just the way I wanted it, the tubes to run. So it actually does go in the dry bay cages. I don't recommend taking these cages off personally. Some people have, but that's a nightmare. I think I would do more damage to the case. I know some, some people do to put, I don't know, maybe a 420 could go in here and run right up to the other rad, but I did want a actual dry bay, CD Blu-ray dry bay. So I know some people don't even use them anymore. They're kind of pointless, but I wanted one anyways, just in case. Um, this EK res, uh, this isn't the original res. It was a 140, this is 300. I just wanted something a little bigger. Um, the actual pump and res came together. The 140 mil, this is a DDC 3.2 uh, PWM pump which means uh, you can control the fans from the motherboard. Uh, which works good, but just you have to put it on the CPU header. I actually ran into a problem thinking I could run it off one of them system head fans and it wouldn't work on my motherboard. Um, this is the MSI X99 SLI Crate Edition. So far it's been an excellent board for me. I don't know, some people might disagree, but it was perfect for uh, my black and white theme build. I, I loved it, personally. It, it was easy overclock, my temperature's been good. Um, I've had no problems with it. It's got quite a few bells and whistles. Uh, not that I use all of them, I just manually overclocked. But uh, the board itself actually looks pretty nice. It is a good size board, um, but I'm pretty sure this case will fit any board. Uh, what else? All these fittings are bits power compression fittings. Um, I had to order a lot of these separate because, uh, like this is extensions, just because they didn't fit uh, when it came to the GPU. I did not know that when it came to the GPU water block, so I had to order them separately. This one extension, um, I have other extensions, I think they're on the bottom. Um, yeah, if you ever do order this water block for this card, it's a GTX 980 Hoff edition. Um, you will need extensions, unless you get the pre-bought ones now. I think they're selling right from their website. Um, the ballistics, uh, these are ballistics, I'm pretty sure they're 23 33 megahertz. Um, you really don't need any more than that. You can overclock the shit out of them to 3200. I never even bothered because the manner, I don't need the fastest memory in the world. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. I was just wondering what you guys would think when it came to the case itself. Uh, the build, just the way I wired what you thought of it. Um, any questions or anything, uh, message me on YouTube. Uh, this is also an EVGA 1200 uh, Platinum Power Supply. Excellent power supply, it has endless options. Um, I did order a custom kit when it came to the wiring, but it was raid from EVGA. Um, I just, I wanted to individual wired wraps. The ones that came with it are actually quite nice, but I just wanted the individuals just to do what I want, just the white and black, the whole theme. I spend a ton of time on it, but yeah, so far so good. Just cleaning, I can show you what it looks like from 
in front, the rads, the way I ran it. Kind of hard to see. This is just it with it off and cleaning, and I ran the new coolant. This is all new coolant. Flushed it. Flushed everything last night. It was just pretty much dusting it off right now. All the... Everything is pretty much EK. EK. This is a full nickel EK water block for the CPU, which is a 5820K from Intel. I have it overclocked to a 4.5 right now. I'm pretty sure I can push it a little further, maybe to a 4.7, but I haven't really stressed it too, too much. Um, like I said before, these fans, they're not the greatest rad fans, but they fit my build theme, so that's the reason I went with them, personally. Uh, there's a lot of better fans out there, Apaches, Noctis, but there was not a chance of us putting a Nocta in this build. I can't handle the brown. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any uh, questions about the build, see what you think of it. It's kind of hard to show you on this video. I'm going to end up posting another video with it all lit up and uh, actually working. Hopefully everything went well from me cleaning it. Also, I can show you, which is kind of hard, these strips, LED strips, which are completely color changeable. You can't see them, so I hit them pretty well. And I think they're up top as well. Kind of hard to see. Anyways, these are, uh, they were dark side strips. Um, company from Canada, out west. Uh, they're excellent. Even the 3M tape that came with them actually sticks. Like, it sticks quite well. Like, I noticed the, the middle was moving a little bit on the bottom, but the top, they're firm in place. They're perfect. They're bright. Uh, the only problem I did have after a while, after a few months of use, was the actual controller was not in sync with the lights they were supposed to be. So purple was actually green. I don't know why that happened. I'm not sure. Um, when you hit red, it would go blue or whatever. It was just some kind of, it might be the remote. I'm not sure, but every light was off after a few months. It worked fine at first. This is the actual controller that you use right here a little infrared but yeah that's it uh, hope you guys like this build um, and message me uh, what you think thank you